Every time there's been a, a new technology and we can think about printing, it was an opening for revolutionary movement and radio was the same thing and cinema also. Cinema was extremely important for liberation movement at one point to film themselves and not being told about uh, photography of course. So we can think about a lot of technology that have been used against but also have been you know, taken back by feminist movement, liberation movement, black Panthers. But today, the new technology are much more difficult to confront because the speed, the capacity, the anonymity, and the fact that uh, the, the, the extreme right, the xenophobic people, the racist people have understood how to, you know, effectively to take that and, and to use them. And to, it, it, the propagation are very fast, it goes very fast. You know? It goes around and it's retweeted and retweeted or, or uh, WhatsApp and all the fake news going on and, and uh, even the call for murder and for rape of uh, activists. So we are confronted with this. Uh, at the same time, as we do know, a uh, social network has been also used to counter that. I mean, Black Lives Matter, we can think about that, or even other demonstration in Spain or in Buenos Aires or uh, other places. But the development of alternative media, I think it's extremely important, not just in terms of countering that, but uh, also because um, there is a need for a new political education. There is a need to, to bring, uh, uh, the, you know, as widely as possible, new notion, notion and concept that can allow for the imagination and for the hope that, you know, uh, an alternative is possible. So I would say that the, the, this, the alternative media, their role will be to provide that vocabulary, to provide sources and references to think the present, to put words on this incredible chaos that's happening and going so fast. And the um, fraternity of strong men around the world leading the counter-revolution. So, um, what is the vocabulary that, I mean, what is the name we're going to give to this alternative? Uh, I think that uh, it's quite important. In my own activist work, I, I meet quite often, so, but what, what, what is the horizon, uh, what is it, you know, democracy has, has proven that, you know, no, uh, liberal rights, you know, are we going to have, uh, should we defend liberal rights against fascism now, even though we know liberal rights have been part of, you know, our demise? And um, in a, con a recent conversation, I was thinking, but perhaps also the effort today will be to write our, our Declaration of Rights. What will be our Declaration of Rights now? What will be, how will we formulate the right, that, that are the right, you know? Um, so uh, one of the first rights that came up was the right to existence that has been denied. So it uh, looks very simple, but it's not that... Uh, so, but because from that you, you pull so many things against uh, uh, the destruction of life, uh, but of life, not just of human life, but of all, all kind of lives. So I will say, um, for instance, uh, yeah, alternative media could be the... the, the their role will be to discuss that, to, to provide that vocabulary, to, to solicit, to, to ask you know, people, you know, what is it, what are your dreams, what are the imagination for the better world. So to give also this up that it's possible, that it's possible, and to rewrite that declaration. Um, as we know, I mean, uh, declaration of rights have been you know, by, done by the oppressed, right? The Black Panther Party, the Ten Points, uh, uh, all the liberation, national liberation movement, add a program, add something that say, okay, we are fighting for this. This is what for you know. So what are we fighting for today? How are we going to formulate that? And how the alternative media going to provide content for this horizon? So not just oh, we fight, you know, for freedom. Okay, sure, but what? <laughs> you know, how? What is freedom? What is freedom? Because freedom is a word that we constantly here from the other part. So what do we, the meaning? Um, equality, but we know that equality, the ab abstractly, uh, the way has been uh, conceived with totally abstraction, with total ab abstraction does not resonate. So what do we say? What do we say? How do we formulate the right to existence? How do uh, we, uh, what is to be human? 
uh, you know, following all the critical work which has been done on the, the way in which you are from, you know, very early gave to human a meaning that was white, male, Christian. So how would we formulate what is to be human today in the world? What is, so I would say yes, it's, it's a very exciting role in fact, and, uh, uh, because there is a lot to do and it's, it's quite exciting, it's quite exciting I would say. So um, yeah, I, I would say there is a incredible uh, work to do. Thank <laughs> you.